Well, welcome back. I'm here with Glenna Friedrich, and she's with the Better Business Bureau. And Glenna, you're always here and telling us some great information about what we need to be aware of. <laughs> yes, so, what do we yes. need to be aware and of? We do have time? another one. I mean, it, we're just being really overrun with phone calls from consumers saying, "Hey, I got a call, and they said they're with the IRS. They said they were Social Security. They said they were Federal Reserve. And the most recent one is the Federal Reserve. That's something they've picked. It sounds official, but they really don't have anything to do with your taxes. You know, you don't pay your taxes to the Federal." Reserve. So uh, we've had a lot of consumers call us and say they told me I owe ta back taxes because there was fraud attached to my Social Security number and that they were going to have to freeze my Social Security number and they were going to have to, you know, take steps to ensure that I, I had paid all the taxes I was supposed to. And this guy, they told him he had 30 minutes to go and wire the money to the Federal Reserve. Uh, and of course, it's really not the Federal Reserve because as I've said many times so take note the federal government does not call you you know the IRS the, any of those agencies those federal agencies they do not call you to tell you there's a problem they will write you a letter and in some cases it'll be a certified letter but they have to have a record of, of all the conversation between themselves and the and consumers and so our taxpayers and so they you know they won't actually pick up a phone and call you and say hi this is agent 435 and that's exactly what they did with this guy he said the guy tells me his badge number and all this kind of well they don't even have a badge number but he said what department are you calling from the federal reserve i used to work for them <laughs> And when he said that, then, of course, it was click, buzz. You know, they hung up on him uh, because they knew that he knew enough to know that that's, that's, this wasn't a legit call. Uh, so be very cautious. If you don't know the phone number that's listed on your caller ID when you get a phone call, then don't answer it. Let it go to your voicemail. If it's a legitimate call, then they will, you know, call you back or they'll, they'll leave you a message, and then you can call them. <clears throat> I got a call the other day where it was like, this is an urgent message from so-and-so. Press this number to get your message. Yeah. Have you heard of that? Yes, and it can be just about anything, to be honest with you. You know, this is an urgent message. Oh, your car warranty is, is expiring, you know, or something crazy like that. Uh, but it's mainly to get your attention, get you to contact them, and then from there, they'll give you some spiel that they hope will persuade you to send them money or to give them your bank account number or something like that. Remember, do not believe it if they tell you they're with a federal agency or a state agency and you know do not give out any information such as your account numbers uh, your social security number any of that information don't give it out over the telephone unless you know who you're talking to Mm. And that goes for Facebook, too. I mean, yes, I'm, I'm uh, appalled, quite frankly, with some of the things that people put on Facebook because they're giving out information that they really should keep more confidential. You, everybody can see that on Facebook, and, and it's really not a good idea to put it out there. So it just gives them more information to be able to rip you off. Right. So, and so if you have any doubts before you give out information, tell them you'll call them back or tell them to call you back, and then you call our office and tell us what they're giving you, what the spiel is, and then we'll probably recognize it and be able to tell you if it's legit or not. Always uh, do some research. Yes, do some research, please. Not after the fact, but before yeah, Oh, fact. yeah, because once... I hate it when, I, when they say, well, I've already sent the money, and you go, oh, that's not good. So, uh, yeah, uh, call us. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much, uh, Glenna. And then, again, we're going to be taking questions. So, after weather, we will be taking questions with Glenna. So, get those uh, questions so we can answer them for you.